Hello guys. In today's video, we'll be addressing a common issue that many Windows users encounter, the no audio output device installed error. If you're unable to hear sound from your speakers or headphones and see this error message, don't worry, we're here to help. In this video, we'll guide you through some simple steps to troubleshoot and fix this audio issue. So let's get started. Step 1. Restart your computer. Sometimes, the no audio output device installed error can occur due to temporary glitches. Restarting your computer can help resolve such issues. Once the computer boots up again, check if the audio is working. Step 2. Update audio drivers. Outdated or corrupted audio drivers can also cause the no audio output device installed error. Updating the audio drivers can help resolve this issue. Follow these steps to update your audio drivers. Press the Windows key plus X and select Device Manager from the menu. In the Device Manager window, expand the Sound, Video, and Game Controllers category. Right-click on your audio device, it might be labeled as High Definition Audio Device or with the name of your sound card, and select Update Driver. Choose the option to automatically search for updated driver software. If Windows finds any updates, follow the on-screen instructions to install them. Once the driver update is complete, restart your computer and check if the audio is working. Step 3. Use Windows Audio Troubleshooter. If the issue persists, Windows provides a built-in audio troubleshooter to diagnose and fix common audio problems. Here's how you can use it. Open Settings app and find sound. Scroll down and click on the Troubleshoot button under the Troubleshoot Sound Problems section. Follow the on-screen instructions and let the troubleshooter detect and fix any audio-related issues. After the troubleshooter completes its process, restart your computer and check if the audio is working. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the no audio output device installed error on your Windows computer. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or other Windows related issues, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.